Hey, Rui, since you were traded to the Lakers, the, the stakes were kind of high right away, just in terms of you needing to you know, get out of the, uh, the place you were at in the, in the seedings and then going into the playoffs, and you always responded. It seemed like you really liked that. Can you just take me through that mindset for you and coming from Washington to the Lakers and how you've, been, how you've kind of fit into this, uh, this culture and, and the way that you play in these big games? Yeah, you know, um, first, you know, when I got traded here, uh, of course, I talked to Rob, uh, the coach, Coach Ham, and uh, through my agents. But, you know, they said they want me to be the guy, you know, be on the both ends, bring the bring the energy. You know, they want me, they, they, they told me they wanted me to be very aggressive in offense to help this team win. So that's uh, – those, those are, you know, it's, uh, it's still here right now. Uh, we talk about same thing, so yeah, it's it's been the it's been great, you know. I think uh, they gave me they've been giving like you know the uh, specific job and role for the for the this team, and uh, I wanted to help this team wins whatever you know. Even last year, you know, it was struggling, but we made it to uh, West Conference um, final. But yeah, even this year too, you know, it's been struggling, but you know we. We we made it to playing, so yeah, it's just a, it's it's been it's been a crazy journey for sure. So the Pelicans are up at the half on Golden State. We'll see how that turns out and implicates things for tomorrow. But what is your mindset going into that game? The importance level of it and the level of focus you guys have to have. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a playoff game for sure. We just gotta prepare for it. You know, tomorrow we got a time, a little bit of time to prepare for it, and I think they've been rolling too. So we just gotta you know focus on them for now. Um, and I think they're gonna go, they're gonna go hundred too. So we gotta, we gotta prepare for that for sure. You guys had early control of tonight's game. Um, I think even leading by as much as thirteen in the second quarter, then the Grizzlies chopped away at it. Eventually took a lead in the third. You guys took over from there. What's the dynamic like when you're playing against a team that is playing a lot of younger players or you know, two way guys or you know ten day guys, maybe just signed rest of season contracts? What's that dynamic like, and how much are you aware of that before the start of the game? Yeah, you guys, as you guys see, you guys saw tonight. You know, they literally had nothing to lose. You know, they they just play hard. You know, they turn on the, you know, their contract. This is Laker. You know, for them, it's like a playoff game. Um, we are, we definitely play what, probably one of the worst game, you know, this whole season. And we it, it never it can't happen like this. You know, I know it's the end of the season already, but. You know, for for we we trying to build something for the playoff. You know, so we we can we can be messing around uh, a team like this, and you know, just a, it's a close game. You know, we're supposed to, you know, won by a lot, and supposed to have our young guys play. You know, this game, so we we didn't do a good job. I feel like, but wins a win. You know, we got this one, and it's an NBA game, and yeah, we got to prepare for next one. Rui, you said you, you can't be messing around in a game like this. Turnovers were a problem. Was that a, a lack of focus, do you think, or what was the source of that? Yeah, for sure, yeah. It's just, a, it's just we, are loose, we are loose today, you know. Um, offensively, we are kind of, you know, we didn't really share the ball. I feel like we were just like, you know, um, just moving around, you know, just didn't, we weren't really moving well, I feel like, you know, from the start from the game, so, you know, then other hand, uh, they 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 are moving the ball. You know, they are playing harder, so we we're, we're struggling. So yeah, that's a the turnover actually. You know, it's a, it's go it mess up our rhythm too. You know, it, it's like you know they they go on a fast break. You know, like three on one or whatever, and they can score easily. So that's, those those are stuff we gotta look for for sure. Thank <laughs> プレーオフを目指していくという去年と同じような形なんですけれども、今この時期に八村選手が個人的に一番大事にしている部分っていうのはどういうことですか。そうですね。あのまあチームとしてもしっかりとあのプレーオフに向けてのチームを作っているので
まあ、AD を助けるっていうつもりなのかそれとも自分がもっとアグレッシブに AD に関係なく取っていかなきゃいけないっていうつもりなのか,なんかその辺のリバウンドに対する姿勢っていうのは今どんな感じで考えてますかいやまあ,ああいう終盤の時こそやっぱりオフェンスリバウンドが大事になってくるのでそういう中で僕はそういうのずっと求められてきたのでチームのためにと思ってやってます。